Well, hello again. This is Craig. This is another update on my aquaphonic system that I'm working on. It's still a work in progress. Um, so it's November the 7th. It's about, I say, probably close to 5 30, 6 o'clock, somewhere around there. But um, I just wanted to give you a little update on my system and on my plants and stuff. Well, this is a little less um, video I believe I had on um, these things in there that I had built. You put water at the top and it drains through the things. Well, the bottom is cilantro, which you can see is growing really nicely and starting to come out real good. Um, top is sweet basil. You can see it's coming out pretty good. My upside down hanging tomato plant is doing very well. It's about 70 degrees in here and, and it's about 52 outside. And I'll show you how I'm keeping the temperature up. Here's some more tomatoes and stuff. Here's some green beans. And before I put my, gr my greenhouse up, I had some um, caterpillars come in here and get a hold of my my bean plants and they did a number on it but you can see where the new growth is coming out and it's looking good and I'm fixing to build something so they can separate them so they can start climbing on their own and stuff here's my squash it's got buds coming out now these were planted in um let's see uh, September the 28th all this stuff was so it it's doing pretty good. Um, here's my little floating system, floating raft system. There's a lettuce, and um, I say in probably a couple of weeks I'll get to maybe harvest some lettuce. Hopefully, that's what I'm looking for. Another green plant, and here's um, some broccoli that is probably about, I say about three weeks old, two weeks old, two and a half weeks old. Here's some more lettuce that's coming out nicely. Here's a broccoli plant that is doing very well. And um, here's a butter crunch lettuce plant looking beautiful. Another broccoli and I got some squash that's coming up. Another lettuce and um, Spanish spinach plants both of them and then uh, another um, their butter, cr butter crunch um, lettuce plant and a bean plant that's growing down I've got to do something with that but anyway my flood and drain system is working very nicely I'll show you how I've got it set up so that's how it's set up. Now one thing I did find out is that your your um, drain down there has got to have a wider mouth at the top than what the pipe is to cause it to it will cause it to drain better it should be a little bit bigger but I kind of improvised swelled up the pipe at the end of it with something so it turned out it works fine works real nice here's my bio filter um, it got a lot more flow to it which you can tell it's flowing real nicely now and um in both the tanks. I'm fixing to put, I've got a IBC tote with no frame but um, fix to cut it 12 inches off the top of it and I'm on and I've got another table that I'm building to go up in here so it'll come out 80 inches just like this one is over here so I'll have like a u-shaped um, section here that um and then right here in the corner I'm gonna put 
put it, it's going to be sitting right here in the corner. And then there's going to be another blue 55 gallon drum that's been cut down that size. It's going to sit right there. And all these plants are going to go to the end of the table that I'm putting up. And I'm also going to put another sump tank up under here. That size of a blue barrel. I'm just going to do what I did with that barrel. Split it and use half of it for a bed. And, well, three, a quarter of it for a bed and the other three quarters of it for a sump tank. And I'm going to connect them together because I want to make sure I have plenty of water in the sump tank. And I want to be able to have to um, put something in there. So, um, now, I like to have some comments on that, see what y'all other aquaponics um, peeps are doing, to see if that's a wise decision. I know that um, with two tanks, and if something happens, I can flood that tank. But I'm gonna, when I do do it, I'm going to make an overflow that will flow straight into that flood and drain um, bed so that if it does get too high, it will drain in there. I did have that my um, line stop up one time already, and it was my fault, but um, it flooded the tank, and it soaked the ground. <laughs> so, but... I, I'm going to throw some some caution measures in there for me. So, but anyway, here's my biofilter, which I am changing. I do not like how it works. It's like a cotton type stuff in here that I've got to filter. Um, and what I did is that you see down there, the waste and stuff collects on the bottom. And... And this just sits over here out of and so and then it just drains right down into the pipe but anyway I don't like it I'm changing it I'm gonna do something a little bit different we'll have a I don't think it's big enough so to do the job so I'm going with something bigger I've got a I think a 30 gallon tote that I'm gonna use but anyway, here's my fish tank. Let's see if I can get my get my fish to come up. I've got tilapia in here. They're ranging anywhere from six inches to nine inches. So you just throw a little food in there and see if they'll come up. There they are. Blue tilapia. A fellow that I met on Aquaphonics community, his name's Leon. Um, he, he, I bought some fish from him. He's got a nice little Aquaphonics um setup over there, and um, he lives about 45 minutes from me, so that's that's cool. It's good that he's gave me a lot of pointers and I screwed up on some things on my drains. My drains wasn't big enough. He kind of helped me out on it, told me what to do. So anyway, I appreciate his help on that. And any comments would work, would be wonderful if anybody would give me some. Um, I'm new at this. This is my first time. And I'm lucky that I haven't had any fish to die. And so I'm happy about that. But my pH is running a little, it's running high. It's running 8, 8.2. Eight my system's about a month, maybe a month and a week old. Well, probably about a month or two weeks old. But um, I'm, I'm just concerned about a pH. I got my my ammonia finally went down to a two. It was up to a five. So I did a water change and it took care of that. So and I know I'm reading a low grade on the nitrites. And I'm reading reading um, a low 
oh, on my um, nitrates. So I've got nitrates and nitrites in the water now. So it just started doing it the last couple of days. So that's I, that's a good. Man, I guess it means it's getting through this cycle. Now how I'm heating my my um little greenhouse, lean to greenhouse here, um, is a vent coming from my house. There's a vent up under this window and what I did, I just took a, a dryer vent um, little collapsible hose and I stuck this little thing on the end and I fixed it where it's hanging out the window and blowing in here to kind of keep it cool, to keep it warm. So anyway, it's, it's working halfway decent for me so far. I've got an aquarium heater that I'm fixing to put in my fish tank just for, for just for precautions but anyway it's keeping it around 70 degrees so uh, the window will not open so I've got it fixed where it won't open so but um, anyway I thought it's not going to cause I've already got one um, vent in that room already if, since I took it had two vents in the room and I, now it's just got one since I'm using this one but it's just a little area it shouldn't even have two, two vents but so anyway I thought hey you'll cool it I mean heat it when it heats my house it's not going to change my my power bill or anything so it's not going to cost me any more so I'm happy with that anyway here's my greenhouse it's still a work in progress I hadn't put the door in but I'm still working on it just trying to get the money up to finish it up which I'm gonna put a window right here that I can open and close and it's gonna have a a screen on the inside so when I do open it ain't nothing gonna be able to fly in so but anyway this is my aquaponics garden my update so continue on for more updates and please if you got any comments please give me some if if I'm doing something wrong let me know to help me out um, your opinions are valuable and y'all have a good day a good night whatever time you watch this and God bless thank you bye